The overall goal of this procedure is to induce depressive-like behavior in rodents and to test the effect of therapeutics for the study of depression. This is accomplished by first preparing transparent cylindrical glass containers filled with water to a depth in which the mouse cannot touch the bottom with its hind legs. The second step is to place each animal in a water-filled cylindrical container and film the behavior of the mice for a total of six minutes. The final step is to code the duration of time spent immobile, struggling, and swimming using forced swim test analysis software. Ultimately, the forced swim test is used to show that when placing an animal in a container filled with water, it will eventually exhibit immobility that may be a measure of behavioral despair. Treatment with antidepressive and anti-anxiety medication can alter these behaviors. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like sucrose preference test is that it is relatively and easy to perform and the results are easily and quickly analyzed. The application of this technique extends toward therapy or diagnosis of depression. Its sensitivity toward a broad range of antidepressants make it a suitable screening test. For the forced swim test, use two adjacent rooms. One room as a waiting room for holding the animals prior to behavioral testing and the other for carrying out the procedure. Prepare transparent cylindrical glass containers measuring 50 centimeters in height with a diameter of 20 centimeters. Next, prepare video cameras.